you do a two-two goal? The idea, how do you reflect on that player as a performance? Yeah, I, th I think it's disappointing really, 2-0 um, up, you should should go on and see a game out, but it, it could be a good learning curve, you know, I think the gaffer said at half-time and I was screaming on the pitch just before the end of half-time, you, you've got to try and learn to manage games a little bit better and I think it does come with experience for one, um, you've got to be able to see games out, decisions have got to be better and um, I think if you go into half-time 2-0, it's, it's a different game and um, I've been on the opposite side of it where you, you get that goal just before half-time and it does, it gives you a bit of impetence and uh, a bit of confidence going into the second and half and obviously they've had a tough start Darlington and I think that goal before half time really gave them a bit of confidence going into the second half but I think overall we should have probably managed it better you know two and up at home you should see a game out but that's football sometimes and um, we're disappointed but like I say it's uh, if, you, if you're not going to win it you've got to try and make sure you don't lose it and, and we've done that today. Yeah, it was a perfect start as well get you getting on the score sheet again as well. Um, yeah, I, th I think I probably owed the lads one, you know, after, after my Farsley uh, episode, you know, I missed quite a few down there and um, I'll always back myself to score. I've said it all along, I'll get in the positions to score and it's a great ball from Devs. It's, it's happened numerous times over the last few years, Devadix to me and, and headers and stuff. So, yeah, it's nice, but I'm just disappointed it couldn't be three points. Um, it's tough, obviously, it was a great start. Lewis McNow, I'm delighted for him, you know, he's, he's had a tough couple of years and it's, it's great to see him put the ball in the goal as well. But it's just overall a bit of disappointment today, you know, we, we should hold on to the lead, my goal should put us in front, Maka should obviously almost seal it and we should probably manage it a little bit better. Yeah, the fatigue kick in a little bit, you obviously missed two key players and Dan McGuire on board. Yeah, they're big players for us, you know, they're massive players for us and um, Lewis McNair ran his socks up front and I thought Sean Reid and Toby Lees were brilliant again, but yeah, you know, it's, it's tough, tiring, um, people like Sean Reid, he's done brilliant the last few weeks, and um, but we miss people like Nathan Buddle and, uh, and Dan Maguire, they just offer us, they're big characters, big players in this team and um, hopefully they'll be back soon for us. Yeah, positive that like you, you did hold on in the end really because Dalton did come out, so you must be pleased that you maintained your unbeaten goal record so far. Yeah, like I said before, if, you, if you're not going to win it just make sure you don't lose it and um, I think we showed showed character in that aspect today you know we're disappointed with the second goal a set piece um, it's not like us but yeah it's the first time we can see it at home and um, I, I like to think that we could have probably gone on and won it if we would have created another couple of chances but but credit to Darlene you know it's, it's tough down the bottom they've had a tough start but they showed they showed character and, and fair play to them today yeah no I'm positive as well the crowd there was over 15 minutes yet I did uh, great, great attempt brilliant yeah, yeah. Just as a player as well, just to have yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant, you know. It's um, obviously had a good away following today, Darlington, and um, the crowd here since I've been here has been brilliant. You know, it's great to see the numbers, and obviously all the old folk are back, and it's great to have so many. And we like to think we can give them a team, like I said earlier in the season, that they can be proud of, you know, and relate to, that works hard, and it's an honest bunch. And I think we've got that. Um, and hopefully, if we can continue to do that and continue to put the results on the board, then they'll be here every week at Croft Park.